What's going on, guys? It's been a while since I played Yakuza 0. Um, I think I vaguely have an idea of where I was at before. I gotta continue this playthrough. I said I was gonna finish it before I start another long-term game, like Ghost of Tsushima or something. I was thinking of starting the stream, actually, with um, the Tony Hawk demo, but then I'm like, the actual game comes out next week. So there's no point in me, you know, playing it, playing the, the two-minute version of it on stream. I'm just gonna play the real version of it next week. Let's see who's here. Crazy redneck Mexican. Talk about the old uh, Trump time travel video. I honestly, it's been so long since I made that video, I would have to refresh and refresh it back up on the information about there. Am I a Sea Town fan? You mean the supermarket? Animal Crossing. Yo, Animal Crossing rules. I read your name as Animal Crossing Rights. As if the uh, Animal Crossing fans are being oppressed or something. Oh, I have my volume on maximum on my end, so... Alright, what the fuck am I supposed to do now? Yakuza. I'm just gonna- I'm just gonna say... I'm not- I'm not gonna, like, in the middle of my sentence, do that shitty, stilted thing where you change your accent in the middle of the sentence to satisfy it. Because, you know, English is a cucked language where we gotta bend over backwards to twist our sentences around to make things sound like they're another language in the middle of it. Every language should do it the way the Japanese do it, where they make the language sound like Japanese when they're using it. I'm not going to be like one of those those uh, those weebs that's like, actu actually, it's pronounced karate. What's up, nut sauce? Oh, uh, right, yeah. How do I figure out what the, how do I remember what the fuck I was supposed to do? Yokozu. Suruga. Oh, I'm just gonna run to the pink arrow. Oh, it's you. Let's talk. Mr. Underpants Man. What's up, man? Man be stanky. What? Yeah, I think I'm somewhere in the middle. I want to enjoy as many girls as I can, so I take short courses and hit multiple places. But the girl just now is special. Maybe I'll book her for a long session next time. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah, brother. Oh yeah, I was, I was looking for something. Well, so he's just doing his thing. There's some sub story things in the corner here. Let's do the sub stories. You know, it's this park again. Nothing good happens in this park. I don't know, it's you. I don't want to do one of those stupid skipping around missions. Hey, why does this man keep looking at us? What's up, Korgalar? Excuse me. Uh oh no, he kidnapped the kid, didn't he? I, I, you're not at all alarmed. Yeah. Oh, yeah, she is asking a little. Not alarmed, why? This eye-patched stranger knows your child's name. I got to be friends with your boy and played with him the other day. That's normal. <clears throat> What's up, John Brundle? Brundle? I did do... Yeah, I have the real estate stuff with Kiryu, and I have the host cafe stuff with Majima. Uh. Yusuke Kun's gone missing. The oh, these far. Let's now play and fetch children. Hey Wang, do you watch any stuff by Sam Hyde still? I watched a few of the like the Happy World Daddies recently, but I have been keeping up with everything. 
Oh, that's right, the turret. We gotta look in the fucking turret. This is the old school Twitter. I am a sex crazed perv. I wear a suit at work. Let's put, let's say I wear a suit at work. <laughs> Real satisfied with his bathroom scrollings. Let's talk to this fucking guy again. I really, I do not enjoy the little mini games to get new moves. But, you know, you gotta get them. Oh, I gotta get more thugging. Can't afford it. Nah, I can't afford none of these. Thanks for sub Neb's donuts. Oh, it's this. Oh, he sees me. I'm just gonna get shook down if I go for my thing. So, all right, the thing I need is in this alley. Oh. Oh. Fuck yeah, precious. I actually recently made for the tier two subs. Oh, a a four panel cum jar, so it's like two rows. Oh. Hmm? Oh. Oh. Nice. Oh. Oh. うん。私が狙われてるせいなんでしょ電話の佐川が殺すが、ちゅうことか。せえ。けど。ないのと。お前らはすぐ総天堀から出た。まあ、ないこともない。せやけど、どこまで逃げても役座は追ってくるで。この子はいつまでビクビクせなあかんねん。俺が
Thanks, Morris. Glad you enjoyed the G.I. Joe video. I actually... So... When I was researching the G.I. Joe video, I had something come up. That it didn't really fit in the video. Uh, it was just an interesting thing. That... What's this? What are you... Why are you creeping, old man? Oh, he's gonna try to assassinate him, isn't he? Huh? This guy's got assassination energy. Oh, we got a Chinese white man. Construction worker. Parappa the rapper. Wait, is that guy white or is he Chinese? I can't even tell. Oh, there are guys that were looking at me from the boat. Nah, the one with Kitano is number six. We're a long way from there. Open them up. Get the goodies outside. There we go. But yeah, so... What came up when I was doing the G.I. Joe video that didn't really fit in the video was that apparently they had changed the ending of the G.I. Joe movie. Not the live action one, the old school um, animated one. There we go. So originally, if you've seen the original G.I. Joe anime movie, there's a scene when Serpentor, the guy who was made by Dr. Mindbender to be a more competent replacement to Cobra Commander. There's a scene where he has these snakes on his shoulder that's like a part of his outfit, but he takes them off and throws them, tries to kill Flint with the snakes, but he, like Duke jumps in front of him and gets hit by it. It, gets, it stabs him in the heart and he's like, yo, Joe, and he falls over, seemingly dead. Goes into a coma, but apparently, originally, he was supposed to be, uh... He was supposed to die there. Then, the team with that, and the G.I. Joe movie and the Transformers movie, were kind of working alongside each other. The Transformers movie comes out a little bit earlier. They kill off Optimus Prime in that movie. Uh, spoil retroactive spoiler, because it already came out of my mouth. Optimus Prime dies. Everyone fucking hates it. And the people behind the G.I. Joe movie are like, Oh, maybe we shouldn't kill Duke. So they change it to Duke goes in a coma. And the thing is, too, they probably could have gotten away with it better in G.I. Joe. Because, you know, Transformers is all about... It's not all about Optimus Prime, but Optimus Prime is, like, the core main dude of Transformers. G.I. Joe kind of varies a lot. Like, you have early on a lot of shipwreck-centric episodes. Lot of, you had some Duke episodes. It's it's more of an ensemble, G.I. Joe. So killing off Duke wouldn't have been that big of a fucking deal. But either way, they changed it because they didn't want... They saw how... How much it flopped with Transformers. And the idea of doing a stream 
that's entirely music recommendations sounds like fucking hell. I usually hate talking about music. It's like the most annoying conversation. That's what you get for being a hot blind piece of ass. With your sensible shoes and whatnot. See, I feel like the Chinese goons have, uh, they have better fits than a lot of the Yakuza in this game. Oh, oh, they're, we're doing that shit where they touch her and she has a life bar. Uh-huh. He, like, he goes right into touching her. Right into touching her from out of the, the swing to hit me. Escort missions. The year is whatever year this game came out. And they still think escort missions are a good idea, not the bane of all fucking gaming existence. Has there ever, in the history of gaming, been an escort mission that improved the quality of the game? I can't think of one. The only thing that made the escort mission quality of Resident Evil 4 tolerable was that she was barely there, except for like a... Like, she was there, but she was, like, glued to you, basically, in a way that was kind of unnatural, but made it more tolerable. But even that, I would have preferred her just not fucking be there. Actually, speaking of Resident Evil, too, I just realized that cameo I had on Angry Video Game Nerds Resident Evil movie review video came out recently. Came out like last night or today. I didn't realize it was coming out so soon. Like I basically just pop it at the end to go, Resident Evil, Resident Evil movies suck. And they do fucking suck. I hate those fucking movies so much. I even tweeted yesterday because they're oh my god, the fucking Netflix series. I don't I don't know if you guys know about the fucking Netflix series. So a while ago they announced that there's a Resident Evil Netflix series coming. And first we don't know what it is. And then they there was a leak about there being Wesker kids. The Wesker kids. And people are like, ah, oh, we don't know if this is serious. And then the official Netflix account. Not even Netflix. And it was like NX, which is like the uh the epic geek culture social media thing for Netflix. They post a picture of the screenplay and it's like, oh yeah, this the store- oh wait, we gotta stop at this vending machine. Sorry. We gotta make our dreams come true. What's it gonna be? Torn or maximum? Hell, my dreams are fulfilled. Um, but yeah, the, the Resident Evil Netflix series does in fact look like it is gonna be some like, some teeny bopper, the Wesker kids. Of return to, to New Raccoon City. I guess they rebuilt it after it got blown up. But the Wesker kids are in New Raccoon City. Finding about it their, their father's horrible secrets. And then I guess one of them fucking dies or something. And then we flash forward and they're dirty. It's, and, uh, the first thing I did was I just went and made a fucking Dawson's Creek edit of it. Because I'm like, this is... This is gonna be fucking stupid. And I tweeted that I unironically believe 
Because, because some people in the comments are like, man, like, could you show it should have been like the Resident Evil movie? I'm like, no. Nothing should be like the Resident Evil movie. The Resident Evil movies fucking suck. And I'm tired of all the, uh, the Resident Evil movie apologists that have come out throughout the years. All like, well, it's a, you know, it's not a good Resident Evil movie, but it's good, it's a good movie on its own merit. No, it's fucking not. It sucks fucking balls. It's a boring fucking shitty sci-fi movie with zombies. With shitty action, shitty violence, a shitty story. The only good thing that happens is the laser scene. That's the only thing like worthwhile that happened in the Resident Evil movie. It fucking sucks. Not even good for its time. And I said, I unironically believe that if Uva Ball had made the Resident Evil movies, they would be better movies. Uva Ball 100% would have done a better job than Paul W.S. Anderson did. Not even fucking joking. He, at the very least, Uva Ball would have attempted to make a Resident Evil movie. And not... not Zombies with sci-fi that has nothing to do with anything. But I guess... I guess... Like at this point, I, I've got to be one of the... Uh, the prevailing online Uva Ball apologists. I had even mentioned I made I feel like I made this same rant in my Uva Ball uh, boxing video that I did a few years ago. Resident Evil movies are a fucking disgrace, and Uva Ball would have done a better job. He would have I'm sure as shit and people are like, oh, like the Netflix series isn't even out yet. How could you judge it now? It's not even out yet. I don't I have there is no situation. In which I care about a show about two kids going to a new town and learning about their father's terrible secrets. I don't care. Like, that. there's there's nothing fathomable that could come good from that. Let alone the fact that it's Resident Evil. And, and not only that, they're like the Wesker kids and there's two new Wesker kids. There are canonically like ten Wesker kids. And they just made up two new ones anyway. It's Jade and Billy. Those are the Wesker kids. <laughs> That's what they should have did. Rod, Rod and Todd Wesker! Actually, I gotta hit up Uva Ball, too. Like, he, he, Uva Ball got banned from Twitter because, you know, he's Uva Ball being Uva Ball. But he hit me up at some point. And like, because like, he liked the video that I made about him. Um, but he was, like, telling me about some, like, new movie ideas he had. So I gotta, like, I gotta touch base with him. See what's going on. I know his restaurant had some kind of a problem. He, like, he had... Uwe Ball had these restaurants in Canada. They are actually very well-reviewed restaurants. Like, people were making articles that Uwe Ball is a much better restaurateur than he is a filmmaker. Very, like, I think they even got, like, Michelin stars and whatnot. Like, they're... People like Uwe Ball's restaurants. Like, he has, like, specialty wiener schnitzel. Um... No, John Brondell. Jake isn't in it. He's not the Wesker kid. Uh, there's like 10 Wesker kids. Jake is not one of the ones in the show. None of the ones that have existed in the game story are in the show. But yeah, Uwe Boll is like telling me about the, um... He, yeah, he had a problem with his restaurant. Like, they... I only saw a, uh, a bit of it where he was talking to... I, well, I think it was his wife was running the account. Was saying that, um... They... They were basically, like, shut down illegally by the landlord. But I don't know what ever became of that. Ah, oh, shit. Tug of War. Oh, it looks like we're jumping right into the, um, Akiryu mission. Though. But... Yeah, also, Rampage. I just, I'm on my Letterboxd account, that, I, I think Rampage is the first review I made, and I just said, Rampage is Uva Ball's finest work, and it, it, on I, like, Rampage is an enjoyable fucking movie. Like, if you like violent movies, fucking watch Rampage. It's fucking, it's, it's not even like, in like, a haha, silly Uva Ball movie, like, it's an entertaining fucking movie. <laughs> I think that might have been like the first original one he did too. That wasn't an adaptation. And Postal is good too. Post of all the adaptations he did, Postal is probably the best. Yeah, exactly. Phoenix. He Rampage is 
Uwe Boll's work. I don't know if the sequels are. I didn't watch the sequels. But Rampa he made Rampage. Rampage as in not Rampage the monster movie, Rampage the killing spree. Not the one with the rock. Dude, can you imagine if Uva Bowl's Rampage came out now? It was probably a controversial movie for the time, but now there would be imagine all the think pieces of it if it came out now. Like, in, I mean, in a way, Spree is kind of getting that treatment that uh, Rampage would get. But Rampage was like Spree is a little bit of an edgy movie, but Rampage t it takes the the uh, the lonely white kid shooter thing to like the next level. But uh, it's a it's an enjoyable fucking movie. Did I know a District Nine was built off the corpse of a dead Halo movie? I feel like I vaguely heard about that before. But I never looked too deeply into it. It wouldn't surprise me at all, though. I enjoy District 9, too, though. Wait, it had a sequel, um... Yeah, Rampage? I believe there's three Rampage movies. What's up, Remelix? Oh, shit. I know. I think you can only change clothes in this once you've already beaten the game. My favorite Silent Hill game is, uh... It might be the first one, to be honest. I gotta go back and play them, though. It's been a long time. Um... Maybe that, be, that might be fun to do, go back and replay them. It's, it's been several years since I played any of them. But, you know what it is, too? I feel like... There's just something about those low-polygon graphics that add to the creepiness of the original Silent Hill. That the later ones... They're still creepy games, but something about the shitty graphics of the first one just make it scarier. That's why I really like that... Uh... There's this, there's this trend now that's kind of coming up in horror games where they want to have them have that PS1 aesthetic. Like, I mean, the obvious one is Dusk. I mean, granted, that's more influenced by Quake and stuff like that, but still, like, there's there's even a whole thing that I saw. It was, um, like a PlayStation 1 horror project or something like that. I don't remember exactly what it was. Um, I found it after I did the Dread X collection. And I played that one game, Shatter. I was like, I gotta learn more about this developer. So I went and looked, wound up subscribing to his Patreon. And then I found all of these PlayStation 1 styled horror indie developers. Um, and then there's, there's quite a few of them. Uh, yeah, PS1 horror demo disc kind of thing. That seems like, that's probably the thing that I found. Um, but yeah, like, I, it, so it looks like most of these are shooters. I think I saw like a, a Fatal Frame type one. Um, there is actually there is one that was really fucking cool. Um, after I'm done with this fight, I'm gonna look it up on Twitter. But basically, it, it was another shooter. But there was like a lot of cool. Um, just like the way you interact with the fucking world. Uh, not interact with the world, like interact with the enemies. Like there's a part where your character gets stabbed 
and it you have to kind of fight while like dealing with the knife inside of you. Ugh. I fucking I hate all of Kiryu styles compared to Majima styles. PS2 game called Circus of Horrors. What's up, Cody Spear? Again, all right, let me look at what this. I think it was actually it was an untitled demo of the thing I'm talking about. Um. But it looked fucking cool. Let me see if I can, if I can find it. Oh yeah, it was James Dornan Dev was the guy who made this. Let me just capture the screen. Because this shit is fucking cool. Push up. The uh... volume up. Like this is like a one-man indie developer. Yeah. Uh, see, like that's fucking cool. Like the guy, like. He puts the knife in you, and you're, like, meleeing him to get him away while you pull the knife out. There's a lot of ways you could do tense shit with this. Stoked to see where this project winds up going. But just in general, I feel like that low-poly look makes for just really cool horror stuff. And that's that's part of why Silent Hill One will always be my favorite one. I honestly, I was recently looking back at um, Silent Hill Two. I forgot what kind of got me thinking about it again, but kill you. I forgot what got me thinking about it again, but I was kind of I spent the night looking back through the old endings for some reason. I'm real. I'm really like I'm trying to remember why I was thinking about those endings, though. There we go. Hit you. Oh, damn! I thought I was gonna whack him with the telephone pole. Bath. You got a bicycle. I hope that's what you were referencing, not so often. Actually, what was cool too, if you guys weren't watching when I played Shatter, going back to the, the Dread X collection, um, what was really, it was this cyberpunk open world kind of game, but it was a horror game, and it, there's a part where you kind of there's a, a system in the game. It's not a finished game. It's kind of the the idea of the Dread X collection. I think it was that like what would these developers like make? What what's like a short game these guys could make that they would like to have the budget to make a full game? So in Shatter, he 
has has this part where you go with you need to do something in in this world that's basically automatically generated by this computer so you're going into like an ai copy of the world that you were already in and it winds up being like this cyberpunk silent hill thing it's mad fucking cool oh my yo i hate fighting as kiryu now Like, it's mad annoying because, like, all of Majima's fighting styles, you can basically just spam shit. But Kiryu's fighting styles don't really work that way. This one kind of does. But then you lose your heat actions. You can't be like, huh? I haven't done any pocket circuit racing. Oh, it looks like easy. Bicycle. He's got a bicycle. I'm kind of. I realize I'm just kind of wandering aimlessly right now. Would I do a video on the Neon Genesis Evangelion porn star? I don't know what that is, but it doesn't sound interesting enough for a video. What what's the story? There's a porn star who does Neon Genesis Evangelion stuff. Why oh, hell no, what's up though? Oh yeah, the remothered sequel. I heard about that coming for a while. Um, oh, this is the thing I gotta get to. Let's go to Serena. Cool. Cool. Yeah, like, Silent Hill 1, even, I remember that first scene, I remember playing that in the demo, where you go into that alleyway, and then all of a sudden, you go into the dark Silent Hill, and the fucking demon babies come out of the shadows, you can barely see anything. Like, when I played that demo, I had never seen anything like that. I even, I remember there were some different sounds in the demo, too, that were even freakier, in my opinion. Like, it sounded more mechanical in the demo. action with this? Oh, there. Oh, that's just stomping him on the floor. I can't fucking stab you. Did the demo have the pre-release gray children? I don't- I remember them being just like the ones that were in the final game. Do I like big mummy milkers? Who doesn't? Oh, unless do you mean mummies like mummies alive? Granted, there was that one hot mummy and mummies alive, so even that, yeah. Why are you squatting looking at the jackets all creepy? You don't gotta sneak, it's in public for you to look at.
What the fuck is this guy's name? Fucking Bob Johnson? Bob <laughs> Tsunamiya. I don't know why his name was Bob. Why I thought his name was Bob Johnson. Let's leave our CP at the shrine. I didn't want to drop kick backwards. Damn it. It has me like locking my jump kick onto everybody except the guy I want to hit. Saki Sanobashi confirmed fake at this point. I don't think there is a way. Even if it was fake, I don't know how you could possibly confirm it fake. I don't think there's like a logical way to do that. I mean, the thing about Ethan you know, is, like, he kind of, over the years, kind of just, like, gradually became more and more of this, like, pearl-clutching soccer mom that it was, like, the antithesis of what he used to be. Like, they were, like, in the time, in the past, there were, like, times when, like, people were just, like, mobbing on him, just to mob on him, but more and more, it's just, like, 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 shut the fuck up. Especially, like, everything, almost everything he ever accuses anybody of, you can find him doing the same shit at some point. And it's just, it's like this, like, mutually self-destructive thing, where it's like, he, he lost 80% of his sponsors by now. Yeah, by his own admission, so. Just like, just like, you know. Keep, I don't know what, what your mission is. Keep doing your boring fucking podcast. Thanks for the sub to lose. And that's the other thing too, like, when it comes down to it, his old content was entertaining, but his podcast is fucking boring. I, like, there's even been times when he's covered stuff that I was interested in, and I was just like, I can't get through this, this is so fucking boring. But then there is an annoying like thing that people do do like with the Teddy Fresh stuff. They put out a shirt the other day that was uh, 
it, it was uh, it was something with a bear that was like uh, the, the bear on the shirt had anxiety or something and people were like yo this is mad like ableist or whatever the fuck they were calling it or it's insensitive to have a shirt with a bear that has anxiety on it or something and it's it's like I could see the people so I'm sure some people cared about that but you can see some of the people that are complaining about it and it's like I know you motherfucker you do not care if someone's being insensitive about anxiety you just want to dunk on Ethan cuz he's a wiener and everyone hates him now and even you know, some, some of the Teddy Fresh stuff I'll be like like the aesthetic is just not for me but some of the designs are good if you like that sort of thing like, I could see why a person would wear it, I just wouldn't. That's something that happens a lot online. People just... There's a lot of pretending to care about things. On the internet these days. Yeah. Alright, so it's not going. Where else can I hide? What's up, Ruben? Sugita, let's go to a Sugita beauty. Oh, who are you? Oh, it's S. Hair guy. I don't remember what chapter I'm on. I think. I don't, I don't remember. Somewhere between 8 and 10. I mean, I, I guess, see, to, like, why people get worked out about it, and, like, e even before the podcast, they felt like he was going in this direction where he just became, like, this, re like, really preachy, sanctimonious dude, and people don't like that. Like, there's a certain aspect of YouTube where, like, it's not just Ethan, too. Like, a lot of people, like, get on this thing where they go to YouTube for moral guidance. And, it, and that's, like, to me, like, that's, like, the lamest shit to, like, go on go on an entertainment platform for people to preach morality. Like, what are you, like a fucking 80 year old church lady from the 90s? That everything needs to preach morality? Fuck out of here, dude. It's weird to me too that people like come to me with that kind of stuff sometimes too. Like I had someone hit me up the other day and they were like, they were like, you gotta do a video about this Instagram account and get them arrested. And it was, like, a person posting old beheading videos. And it's like, first off, like, I don't know what I did that made you think I care if someone online is posting posting beheading videos. Like, unless they're the one beheading the people themselves, then maybe it's, oh, there's a fucking murderer on the loose. Somebody should... But if you think there's a murderer on the loose, don't talk to a YouTuber. Talk to the fucking police. Um... But otherwise, it's just like, yeah, I don't think it's illegal to post that kind of stuff. And it's like, you can't even, like, you can't even blame the viewers for that. Because there's so many YouTubers who have actively worked to create this gimmick of themselves like we're we are the moral us youtubers we're the moral guidance of planet earth and we are, we're gonna point out all the injustice in the world and who's a bad person and who's a good person like when you have so many people on the platform pushing that image of themselves that people come to expect that from everyone 
Like, I just- I don't care about saving the fucking world. I just want to talk about cum. Dolce de Poscar. Radio can't hear you, hear you. Speaking of five hour videos, I think Mudahar, if some of you guys have been watching the streams when Mudahar comes on, he's been talking about this Metal Gear video that's coming out. I think it's coming out tomorrow, and he says it's like, I think he said it was five, a four, no, I think he said four and a half hours on Metal Gear. I gotta play Metal Gear Solid 4 though before watching it. I don't know that I would watch it. I just I can't watch it, four hour videos about things. No, he it's not even real. He's gonna be talking about all like I think it's just gonna be talking about like weird shit in the game. Nani? Oh, so let's mail let's write something to the radio. Yeah, I mean I like right opinion, I couldn't I do not care about that Nico Kato guy, so I, I couldn't watch four and a half hours about him. I wouldn't watch a four and a half video about someone that I not something I like fucking am interested in. Nani? I mean, they're like, like little LCD panels. Yeah. At least LCD panels aren't going to generate that much heat. Damn, I want some. Friggin' Nagel inspired paintings in here. Maybe that's what I should have did. It's gotten inside of the skull. Some like Nagel prints. Maybe eventually when I, uh. I like. I definitely. I want to change my setting here, but I don't know what to do. I, like, I've said before that what I want to do, like, in terms, like, the look of the room. Because I definitely, I want to get away from, like, the red and black light. Um, wow, wow, red and blue lights. Because so many YouTubers do the red and blue lights thing. And it's, like, it looks cool. But it's just, like, you go to, like, there's so many channels that do it. Because just because it's, like, a really easy, inexpensive way to make your set look a little more interesting... But something I thought of replacing that with... Because, like, originally I got these just to kind of evoke the look of Suspiria. Because it's like, there's a lot of reds and blues in Suspiria. It's really cool looking. Um, but... Something that's like a less appreciated aspect of Suspiria's set designs is like these really, like really, uh, bold, uh, almost, like, abrasive 70s Italian wallpapers. Like, they're, they're just, like, a lot of these apartments, the one, even the ones that aren't with crazy red and blue lighting, they're fucking crazy looking. And, so, like, that's something else I could do. Um, it probably wouldn't even be that expensive to do, to be honest. It would just be, like, like a pain in the ass to move everything around and get that done. Um... But I don't know how pleasant that would be to actually live in. Like, it would probably look cool on camera, and it would look different from, you know, 
even if I kept the lights to have that kind of pattern on the wall would give the whole thing a different character. Um, but yeah, that's like, that's one option of what I could do in here. Might be cool to just get like a bigger space in general, though. You are everything that's gone wrong in this world. Thanks for the sub, Cedar. You are everything that's gone wrong in this Thanks world. Thanks for the sub, Seth. I don't know, I'm think I'm like, I don't know if I want to stay in New York either, or go somewhere else, because it's like, everything's expensive here, and f to me, like, the kind of lifestyle you get to have when you live in the city is worth it, but with COVID and shit being the way that it is, you don't get to live that lifestyle, and you're still paying what you're paying, so it's, it's kind of like, it, it, you, you, there's no point in paying to live in the city when you're not getting your money's worth. Yeah, crime is on the rise here, too. I, it's funny, too. You have this back and forth between Seinfeld and some comedy club owner. And it's like... Like, they're, they're feuding over, like, what the comedy club owner is, like, New York is never going to be the same, and he left to Florida, and Jerry Seinfeld is, like, um, he's, like, talking about how, like, New York is stronger, it'll survive everything, and it's, like, first off, the second shit got bad, you moved, you, like, fucked off to the Hamptons, so you're not, you're in no position to talk, Jerry Seinfeld. He's talking about, like, renting... And, like, back when he had his apartment in the crime ridden New York City, and it's like, alright, you were, when you were going through that Jerry Seinfeld, you were paying a few hundred bucks for your apartment. It's, this is not the same situation as when you were coming to 70s New York. And then Bill, the, the, um, the fucking uh, Cuomo is begging the rich people to come back to New York City. And he's like, oh, well, we'll, well, lunch is on me. He said something corny like that. And it's like, and he's, no, like, why would they, if I was rich, I sure as shit wouldn't come back to do what? Come back to an, a, a fucking ghost town? Why would you come back to uh, New York being the way it is right now if you had other options? I don't know where I would go to. Like, I was thinking about like maybe like Nevada, or uh, like there's like a lot of considerations. Uh, 
Well, I, I, I don't like the idea of ever living in like a rural area. I, I'm not a fan of nature. I don't, I'm not a person who relaxes, I'm a person who gets bored by things that normally relax people. If I sat on, if I sit on the fucking beach, like I'm, I'm good with the beach for like a few minutes and then I'm like, alright, this sucks. Yeah, there is the Texas option. Although I don't want to do Texas, just because now if you go to Texas, it's like, oh, you're uh, you're just trying to be like Joe Rogan if you go to Texas. That's I don't want to go to Texas. Just, it's kind of a petty reason to not to like uh, totally exclude a state, but it's I don't I don't I just it's reason enough I guess. I don't... Huh? I do not know... Where to go... Where else could I potentially lay low other than the places I have looked at? That fucking alleyway, maybe. Ugh. Oklahoma, hell no. I've been to Oklahoma once, and it was like one of the most, one of the most miserable experiences of my life. Just cause it like, it was so fucking boring and the weather sucked ass. Hey, what's going on here? Is this, is this a Oi. child or is this an adult dressed like a child? Oh, hell no, Ohio? the fuck out of here with Ohio. Every time I've- there's like a cloud that hangs over Ohio. And every time I've been to Ohio, like, I just instantly become miserable. Like, Ohio, Indiana, Michigan, I would- I would not, never in a million years live in that part of the country. Last time I was in Indiana, like, they were like literal- I- I was in like some fucking meth town. And there are holes in the floor, like Silent Hill. Huh? Chicago was actually the last place I visited before all this shit went down. Oh, let's get the shifty. We're only describing the shifty eye because that's the only part of them that we can see is their fucking eyes. Oh, clothesline. Um, see, Chicago's Chicago's all right, but I feel like the winter probably sucks. Like that's like one thing about New York. I fucking hate the weather, and I feel like Chicago is probably the same situation. But everything that's bad about New York weather, but worse. So if I were to relocate, I want to go somewhere that's like fucking warm all the time. Oh, come on, it went under his shoulder, you bum. I'm still not sure if this is a child or a, a weird adult. Oh no, oh, it's that fucking Mafia kid. Well, I've been to Texas, and Texas was... I enjoyed Texas when I was there. Um, there was... There was, uh, something... There was another state that I saw brought up in there that was pretty cool. Um, bastards. Yeah, he's kind of got, like, that Resident Evil Salazar thing going on. Oh my god, Bella Thorne pull pulled off the, the- she like ruined an entire website pulling off this fucking scam. So if you haven't heard about the Bella Thorne thing, she, um, she like made an OnlyFans. I think the ostensibly 
she made an OnlyFans to like th this like pretentious fucking actor thing, where they're like, oh, uh, I, 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 I'm. I'm being a method actor who has to learn how it is to really be a sex worker, so I'm going to get into character by making OnlyFans. But then she does this thing. Apparently, there's a thing on OnlyFans where you can do like a pay per view where people pay. You're not only subscribed, you also pay another fee for the um, the specific images or videos. Um, so, at first off, what I heard was that what she was putting on OnlyFans was the same stuff that was on her Instagram. Um, I don't know if that's true or not. That's what I, th I think I heard that. Um, which, as I've said, I've said it before on here. Like, the idea... Like, I, I... I wouldn't pay for nudes, but I can understand why a person would pay for nudes. I cannot understand why a person would pay for clothed pictures. Especially, like, something that could very well go on Instagram. Like, that is... To me, like, I, I, I don't get... I, mean, I guess I do understand in a sense that it, at that point, it's not really about the pictures. It's about the parasocial relationship. Uh -huh. And, like, trying to get creepily close to this person that doesn't know you exist, except you're giving them money. Um, but I had heard that she was putting her Instagram pictures on OnlyFans past the paywall. But then, there was... Uh, People, she was gonna put out this two hundred dollar pay per view, and people were like, "Oh, oh, is this going to be like nude pictures?" And she told somebody, "Yes." So then, people are paying down this two hundred dollars, expecting Bella Thorne nudes, which I don't even know if she's hot or not. I don't, if I couldn't pick her up out of a police lineup, um, but regardless, people are paying two hundred dollars to see this. Then they come out and they're not nudes. And people are doing credit card chargebacks to OnlyFans. Um, and it seems like what happened is now, OnlyFans cannot pay the fees. So, like, it, because this millionaire came on and did all this on OnlyFans, everyone else that's not a fucking millionaire is getting fucked over. Like, they, they I think, in addition to, like, lowering the charges for... I think it's they did something like lowering the potential pay-per-view cost, which, like to me, like paying two, paying two hundred fucking dollars. I think they capped it off at fifty, which even fifty dollars for an individual picture or video is crazy to me. But if people are willing to pay for it, they're willing to pay for it. But they did that. But like, what's crazier to me is I think they said something like now they've extended their payouts. They've made it so now they have to wait 30 days, as opposed to, I guess it used to be 7 before to get paid out. Which, I mean, I, I feel like 30 days is standard for most services, so it's not that crazy, but if you're expe if you're, you've grown accustomed to the 7 day payouts, and then some millionaire comes and fucking does it, then it, uh, it, it, it's kind of bullshit. And also... Matt, the reason I'm skipping these story things because I kind of I've realized I don't really care about them. I don't care about this child's story of growth and standing up on his own. Like some, I, I feel like the side stories on this kind of vary a lot in quality, and I do not care about this one. Honestly, I, in general, I don't really care. I, 
I very rarely get invested in any video game story. But in this one, I find the main story kind of interesting. I don't know, I feel like the overwhelming sto- I, I feel like, in general, with very few exceptions, the expectation that every game needs a story has been a net negative for video games. Because most of it is just kind of like, it's there because it's expected to be there. And a lot, and a lot of times, like, game the gameplay itself has suffered. Like, a lot of- these days, I feel like a lot of a lot of games feel like they're people who wanted to be filmmakers but couldn't cut it. Question is though, where the fuck am I supposed to go here? I doubt the hideout at the parking lot. Disco club, the batting center, store, the catfight club, the bowling alley. All right, neither of these places are what I needed. Don Quixote. I think there's. I don't know if it was. If, unless some like some news update happened. Uh, today, I don't know that Walmart and Microsoft bought TikTok, but there was talk of Walmart and Microsoft teaming up to buy TikTok. Which, that's kind of an interesting thing, because... Walmart had been talking about making Walmart Plus, which was a competitor to, um... Uh, it's intended to be a competitor to Amazon. It was, it was supposed to come out, like, March, I think, but they keep on delaying it. Uh... But now my, Walmart teaming up with Microsoft, and I think that that the t the team of Walmart and Microsoft will wind up getting TikTok. But I feel like that partnership also has ramifications for the Walmart Plus venture. Might wind up with like some company that's like a merging of Walmart and Microsoft. Some of this shit. I mean, supposedly, Walmart Plus is, uh, they're going to promise, I, th I think they're, they're going to promise 12-hour delivery and have the Amazon Prime service be, like, uh, a ch an equ the equivalent service would be cheaper. 
So if they're offering the same service as Amazon, faster and cheaper, then I can see them cutting out a piece of that market. Hell yeah, thanks, Speedwagon. Actually, I might record my new... I, like, I want to get, get some uh, stream clips cut out tonight, too. But I might record the next thing for the Story Fire exclusives later on. I want to do that story that's like... Oh, what's happened here? Help me. <laughs> um... But yeah, I want to do... I, I, I'm gonna, like, experiment with something different a little bit for the next Story Fire thing. I want to do that story about the, this dude on Reddit who went... I forgot if it was Acid or Mushrooms. But he went to Monday Night Raw and did, like, a live play-by-play. -play. So I kind of might just, like, read that story, but then, like, make all kinds of, like, crazy editing to kind of go along with the story. I don't remember how far along I am in the story. Oh. Unless I did something wrong with those story places here. It, uh, to me... It seems, it seems like the game wants me to just try places at random until I find the right one. I hope not. I hope that's not the case, because that's... That's like one of the most annoying things you could do in a game. Wait, but I got like a story thing here. Can't talk to the old man. Can't talk to her. Uh, do lose. I'm gonna have to... The Holocaust thing is still happening. What Holocaust thing? I, I know I haven't been paying that little attention that I didn't miss a new Holocaust happening, so... Please elaborate what you mean when you say the Holocaust thing is still happening. Oh, the TikTok thing. That... Where, where they're like, hi, hello, you've died. Who are you? I am a person who died in the Holocaust. Like, here's what I don't get. There's, uh, there's people, I, I don't get the point of doing that. They're like framing it as this educational thing, but it's like, what, where, what are you educating people about? That like, there was this thing called the Holocaust that people died in it. And I've made my makeup gray to look like what a dead person might look like once they've died. Like that's and as I as I can see it, that's the entire thing, right?
some of the makeup too it feels the way they some of these kids did their makeup it makes me think like they look gray in a way where i have to ask the question did do these kids think that the world used to be black and white like the way it is on tv do they think like color in the universe is like a new invention because some of these makeup jobs make me think that they really think that the world used to be black and white. Then Thomas Edison invented color reality. Oh my god, the star seed people! What? I, I caught those. You know the star seed people? They basically, like, they think they're fucking... They're aliens that are put into a human body. It's basically other kin, but instead of thinking you're a wolf, you think you're an alien. And then, like, the, the symptoms. I, this one girl listed the uh, the ways you know you're a star seed. And I don't remember all of them, but it was like... It, it was something like, uh, if, you've, if you notice that you're smarter than everyone else around you, you're probably a star seed. And it's like, oh, it's like one of these things, where it's just like, I, I'm gonna pretend I'm this so I can feel like I'm better than everyone. Thanks for the sub, Bethus. I gotta find a list of things now. With your fucking shoulder pads, have an ass. Alright. Alright, before I go to Serena, I gotta find the, uh, the girl with the... Tick TikTok star seed. What is a star seed? The meaning behind the. Oh, here we go. I find the one. I am a star seed. Well, there were more than three, three panels of this, right? The Daily Dot. Alien goes viral on TikTok. I mean, I guess I could just kind of look at it here. I'm a star seed. A lot of people ask me, how do I know if I'm a star seed? But nobody seems to ask, what is it like to be a star seed? Star seeds are alien consciousness born into human bodies because of our unique energy signatures. Yeah, this is a lot of just like one of those like I am feel bad for me. I'm so oppressed. I'm special. It's like nobody understands you and it feels like your family is far away in space. Star seeds have a super different energy signature than other earthlings. Because of this, they're often diagnosed with severe mental illness because of their in inability to just go about life like nothing is wrong. They can see the There's a part where she has like a list of all the, the ways you might not be a star seed, right? Oh, here we go. This is this is where it gets me where it's kind of like, oh, this is like it, you immediately see like this entire fucking idea just comes from this place of arrogance where you're like, you see, the way I know that I'm this special kind of person that's actually- I'm not a human, I'm an alien secretly in a human body. The way you know this is, you're super smart. That's how you know you're a star seed. That- then all these TikTokers are gonna be like, Oh, well, you know, people think I'm insane, and people think that I'm super smart. No, and, excuse me, people don't think that, I think that. I think that I'm super smart, so that must mean, the logical conclusion for me, people th thinking I'm mentally ill, and me being super smart, is that I must be an alien. You don't have to feel lonely and you can connect to your family in space. Also, as the internet expands on these topics, you can find other stars. This is what's happened on the internet. You kind of... 
we've just gotten to a place where any person who believes in any kind of uh, insane fucking thing can find other people who also believe the same insane fucking thing, so they just wind up circle jerking in like their own dumb dumb ideas and convincing each other more and more that it's true. Yeah, that's the unicult chick. It's literally called a cult. Literally called a fucking cult. Uh, TikTok has kind of, has a lot of these little groups too. There's also all the witches. Then the witches are like, you know, there's some teeny witches on TikTok who tried to curse the moon. And now they've, they've created unfathomable problems because they don't have real witch powers. Like not only do you have TikTok witches, but you have witches arguing over who the real witches are. This is why we got to bring back fucking nut houses. Or just, you know... Okay, pat it. You think you're a fucking alien? You think you're gonna hex the fucking moon? Pat itself for you. Goodbye. We'll check in in like a year and see how you're doing. American Horror Story Season 2, that's what we need. So good. Society has been collapsing ever since Geraldo Rivera turned people against the idea of Looney Bins. I didn't see the serial killer TikTok guy. あいつ。何しても。俺はこれ以上あいつの荷物になりたくない。Yeah, take Tumblr. Tumblr, they didn't go down, but like nobody uses fucking Tumblr anymore because their policies got stricter. Tumblr was a good containment zone for all the. Like, as much as we like to make fun of Tumblrites and shit, it was a good containment zone for a lot of the internet's worst people. And as soon as they changed their policies, they all leaked out into Twitter and everywhere else. And so, like, every once in a while, like, Twitter has to come down and be like, yo, we don't. Shut the fuck up. This ain't Tumblr. We don't like you fucking people. You guys are insane. Annoying. Annoying.彼の一つぼに出た死体の件だな。それを立花が殺に手を回して、俺への捜査を抑えてくれてたんだ。その猶予が切れた。でも濡れぎぬっていうことは。I saw some guy today like lecturing Brie Larson. Because Brie Larson put out a thing, a statement about Chadwick Boseman, and she finished it with saying, rest in power. And the guy is like, oh, actually, you say rest in power is cultural appropriation or some shit. And I'm like, what? fucking how? How? Like, rest in power is something I used to hear people say, like, when wrestlers died. Or, like, when guys in bands died. Are you really gonna like? Are you really gonna scold someone over saying "rest in power" when her fucking friend died of cancer? Hey. Well, let's do it. 
do it. Let's fucking go. I didn't mean to pick up that couch cushion, but it works. Bashing his head in with an ashtray. I don't even know where I got that from. She looks very not alarmed by this. She's just kind of chilling in the corner. Honestly, she's probably stuck to that carpet right now. This is very exciting. Kiryu-san. Didn't Vampire Freaks went down somewhat recently, right? Wait, you know what, Eth, like, what, when I think about, thinking back at the time, was, like, the fucking eyebrows, man. Like, you ever see, like, a picture of women from that time period? Every, I don't know, like, I used to think this was hot, too, back in the day. But, like, every woman, like, had, like, crazy fucking, like, pencil-thin fucking eyebrows back then. Especially, like, on stuff like Vampire Freaks and things like that. But it was kind of, like, in the general culture, too, and, like... How did we as a society at this time, like, agree that this was a good thing? Like, it, it was just, it just happened, and we were all like, yeah, this is hot. Like, nobody real- it, it was the style of the time, and, like, nobody thought, like, what the fuck is this? Like, there wasn't a period of time when that, when that, like, normally when you have something that's like a style, and it goes out of style, normally there's like this transitional period where people are like, gotta get used to it, but nobody had to get used to normal eyebrows again. It was just like, people stopped doing it, and then we kind of forgot it was a thing. Like, I remember the, the transitional period between, like, baggy jeans and skinny jeans. Like, there was kind of like a growing phase there. But there was no growing phase between thin eyebrows and normal eyebrows. Yeah, Jennifer Connelly had, like, big eyebrows. Not just, like, normal, she had big eyebrows. But it looked good on her. Doesn't look good on everyone, but it looked good on Jennifer Connelly. Back up. Really, motherfucker? Oh, I thought that was a stick that I could pick up there. Oh my god. One of my friends not that long ago picked up a suit, like an expensive suit too, that kind of like is the exact Kiryu suit.
unit genes. I remember there was this one company that was like, it was basically bootleg Jankos, but they were like, they were still like cool. They had their own designs. Uh, Cyborg. Games. I saw them once at fucking Stern's. Stern's department store in Queens. I actually, I was thinking about doing a video on the history of Jankos. I, I feel like that's, I don't think that's a topic that's really been done on YouTube before. But it's a pretty interesting topic. Um, the thing about Jankos that people forget, it's, uh, when Jankos came out, the quality of the denim was actually like, like they were kind of expensive, but the quality of the denim was actually really, really high quality. Like, they're very, like, it was, like, a very thick, rugged denim. They were just, you know, big as fuck. Uh, but then, at some point, they, they kind of, you know, they fall out of style. People stop buying them. I, I don't know if they, like, officially went out of business or if the company got bought out or something like that. But, uh-oh. Uh-oh. The old men are coming to beat me up again. But then there's this, like, other phase of Janko. They came back a few years ago. And they brought back, like, a lot of the old designs. Like, I think they had kangaroos, uh, rhinos, silverbacks. And they had the patches on the pants. And I never owned a pair of them, but you can kind of look at them just from the pictures they posted and see that the quality of the denim had drastically went down. Like, you could see it was, like paper thin it was like a weird wash and that version of it didn't last long but now they're back yet again and the new new stuff to me looks like it might be back at that old level of quality but i don't know i haven't bought any of them yet i should hit up jenko and see if they want to sponsor me i would 100 percent fuck with a jenko sponsorship I, also, I might just order a pair of like the new ones. I don't even know, honestly, I don't even know if the, like the new new version of it is still up. I haven't checked it in a while. But I saw that they did have they brought back the khaki kangaroos. The different versions of it. I sold all my old jingles back in the day too. Like uh like there is a period of time you can I think I resold some of them for as much as like five hundred dollars. Like maybe like ten years ago or so. There was like a, a pretty decent collector's thing. Collector scene for like old Jankos. I think the price went down since I sold them. But I I paid some bills selling my old Jango collection. Like I Every all every pair I sold was like in the range of like two hundred to like five hundred. Oh, epic boss battle music. Oh, I forgot about that. Hell yeah, that weird as fuck. Quasi, but not completely tombstone pile driver. Uh, I guess this is a, a battle for rush type now. Thanks for sub, Meekneeks. Okay, get out of here, you bum. Oh, 
Oh, he's got Street Fighter chickens. Actually, uh, get over here. Who's Bathic? Oh, did you see the Avengers quick time events? It's not, like it's not even a quick time event, man. It's like, like I, I obviously I have like no interest in an Avengers game, no how, like, no matter how good it is. I mean, if it was a really good game, maybe. But then you got this quick time event where it's like normally you know you have a quick time event, and quick time events suck ass. Don't get me wrong. But if you're gonna do it, at least fucking do it, and not just have it be like a baby interactive story thing. Basically, like, there's a quick time event that comes up, and normally, if you don't play, if you don't hit the button in time in a quick time event, you fail. But Avengers game doesn't do that. It just freezes the screen until you hit the button. Guys, it's garbage, though. I don't think I have any mods in here right now. <laughs> Bastard. Damn, it didn't even take him out. <laughs> he just had his reaction like, Dude, what the fuck? Oh shit, he's... He's like, all of a sudden he has like a Les Zuckerberg-esque face. Oh, thank, thank fuck he's driving. And this isn't going to be a minigame where I have to drive. Because that's one of the worst things in games. When you have a game that's not a driving game, but all of a sudden just makes you drive a vehicle. Because when that happens, it's never implemented well. That's the thing I gotta start doing when every everything is going according to plan and no one's looking at me except an imagined camera you just like make a little smirk like that guy did it's kind of like th there's definitely people who do this when it's like they think they're Jim from the office and they, they smirk at a camera that's not there おださんに知らせる暇もありませんでした。おかげで自分で慣れない運転をするはめに。あんたにも苦手なもんがあったんだな。苦手というか、いわゆるペーパードライバーっていうやつです。緊張した。<笑> 
おかげで助かったあんたが来なけりゃ俺はあそこで終わっていた俺は甘かった自分はもっと強い人間だと思ってたんだ I did have I did play four. I don't remember there being a dragon in the game, but it's been a long time. So, I don't know. 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 たくさんの人間に守られていただけだったそれに気づかずにいたツケが今になって回ってきたらしいバカだった私があなたならそんなことは気にしません私はねキリュウさん自分の周りにいる人間はすべて利用すればいいと思っています。私の育ってきた環境では、誰もがそうしていました。そうでなければ、生き残れないし、のし上がっていくこともできません。彼でも何でも使って、いかに周りの人間を利用するかだけを考えるんです。あなたのようなアマちゃんには遠い世界の話でしょうけどねなあさっき俺を助けに来たの俺を利用するためってことか<笑>そうなりますねあんた何が言いたいんだ私は人を利用してきた結果として金と力を持つようになりましたどうも私にはその方面の才能があったようです When you said the game is gonna be turned base I for a second Oh no, when you said the game is turned base I thought you meant like something happened that made the game be based I'm like what kind of way of saying it is, is that Then I'm like, oh no, it's like turn based like an RPG. Hell yeah, we're gonna drunk drive. Good idea, Tachibana. <laughs> Get some road beers in us, then start talking. Oh, he meant drink at like not behind the wheel. Creepy driver. That's the extra high level CG so we know shit's about to go down. Oda? It's that smelly motherfucker.
Where? What the fuck? Oh, he did have a few beers. <laughs> it's just a Shiba with headphones. Like, originally, I did use the Silent Hill Mira bug, but. Then I just had my own one made. Made by, uh, actually, the guy who made that logo is the same guy that made the regular Wang logo. And he also designed the demon shirt that I have now. Yo, that shirt did fucking crazy, too. Like, I typically don't sell a lot of merch. But that shirt, like, especially the long sleeve one, so many people bought that shirt. My mind was blown. I also, and now I'm waiting on one. I wanted to have an all over print design for masks and socks, but I might actually have a design coming that's, uh, that's suitable for an all over print shirt too. Meekneeks, his name is Brandon Day. Um, but Teespring has like an internal design team that'll make you stuff sometimes. So they're working on a tie dye shirt for me. And the idea of it, if you remember those old school Mad Balls toys, they're like, they'll have like a mummy head and a monster head, and they're like balls you can squeeze and whatnot. A vampire head, I think I remember. Um, but, so like, they, they were like, if, what kind of design would I do for a tie-dye shirt? And I just, that just popped into my head. So I'm having them design the Shiba logo. As like one of the Mad Balls figures to go on a tie dye shirt. I think that'll look really fucking cool. See what they come up with. Oh, Batman Arkham Drew Binsky. Yeah, that guy's a fucking herd, man. This guy, Drew Binsky. It was actually the funny thing about Drew Binsky. The video I made about him did a lot better on Facebook than it did on YouTube. Like, there were a few times I tried uploading videos straight to Facebook, and they usually didn't pop, but that one, like, did really good numbers compared to how it did on YouTube. Um, but... The video Drew Binsky makes, he, like, he goes, his, his whole channel is, like, he travels around the world and makes uh, travel videos, basically. I, actually, I, the reason why he popped up again recently, he, I think he did some video about how he almost died at the protests or some shit like that. I caught a, a bit of it on Twitter, but didn't really follow it. But his, his New York video, it was, like, he was complaining about, uh, People being rude to him in New York, and nobody smiled at him, or made small talk to him. And it's like, yo, that's what's like, that's what's good about New York. I don't want to fucking know anybody. I don't want to fucking talk to anybody. Oh, we're standing online together at 7-Eleven. I don't need to know how your fucking day was, man. I don't know you. I'm never going to see you again. I don't care how your day was. There's a, there's a part in it when he, uh... He, he has a video, it's like, on the video, like, someone, someone, like, he's, like, a whole, like, way back from the person, and they don't hold the door open for him, so he, like, crashes into the door, and, like, like he, like, he, like, ragdolls into this fucking door, like a GTA character. And he got fucking roasted, too, in general. Like, he... He, like, uh, like, he posted the video to Facebook, people thinking people were going to be like, oh yeah, that's so true. But everyone in there is just flaming them, and then my video came out and he got flamed even fucking harder. But then some people were like, oh, you're just jealous of Drew Binsky. I'm like, dude, trust me, I'm not fucking jealous of Drew fucking Binsky. Get out of here. アジア外は登場会の怒りを買うってことか。まず間違いなくな。けども、うちはここの顔役にリスクイジョーの金を払ってる。
But th then I'll scroll my you timeline, don't... and it'll be like real life friends arguing about dumb fucking shit. Like, Twitter, you open up Twitter, and it's mostly people, like, joking about whatever current events are going on. But then Facebook, every person you ever went to high school with thinks they're gonna save the world with their political takes. It's such a fucking waste of time. And, like, it's not even an entertaining waste of time, which would justify it. I mean, I'm sure... The thing about streaming on Facebook... If you're having a hard time growing on other sites, it might be good to, like, try to, uh... I mean, granted, like, a lot of people go to alternative streaming sites or video sites when they don't grow on one because they think the algorithm is the reason why they're not growing and it's not so much just that, like, the content sucks. But it definitely, like, there is room to grow on Facebook, and when, when a social media site is trying to push a new feature, you can basically guarantee that they're going to favor it in the algorithm. So if you want to try to grow on Facebook streaming, now is the time to do it, because they care about it and they want to push it. The funny thing about like there being like so many like Chinese factions in this game, you know there's definitely like mad people who play this and they're kind of like, I don't understand why the Chinese guys and the Japanese guys are like at odds with each other because isn't that the same thing? You know there's people playing this game that are like, that don't get, that like different kinds of Asians don't like each other. そうだな。ああ、それより顔役には俺から話をする。お前は余計なこと言わなくていい。俺に任せてくれ。いいな。ああ、分かった。ここだ。お前も入ってくれ。Damn, man, I'm hearing m about, like, mad restaurants in Chinatown going out of business right now. And the whole time I've been thinking about getting the fucking salt and pepper shrimp from Wohop, which has been there since, like, the 20s, I think. Hope they don't go out of business. Chen Shenzhen, J. Wo Kuren, Su Ruben Len. Yo, this guy's mad double dragon, though. Yong Ruben Iu Ba. こちらはアジア外の顔役で、陳さん。陳さん、こちらが。飛龍和馬さんだね。元道島組の。陳先生は在日家業に3人いる長老の一人だ。橘不動産の情報網にはこの方のネットワークも大きな上位投資を占めている
あの道島屋や警察にも追われているねここにかくまえば災いの種になるそれを言えば俺や社長も工場界に追われる身ですアジア街は同胞を見捨てることはしないだがキリュウさんは日本人のヤクザだそれなのに立花不動産はこの件我々に対して事前に話を通してもいない突発的なことでやむを得ませんでしたですがここを追い出されればキリュウは堂島組に殺されますそれでも我々は別に困らんね待ってください立花不動産からの上がりはアジア街にとってもでかいはずです今までうちとアジア街はいい取引をしてきましたその上でのたってのお願いです取引は対等なものだこちらも金に似合うだけの情報は提供してきたはずだよあんた方に借りはない I think the, the Rock's $500 shirts, they're always Versace. I think. But now, those similar kinds of Versace shirts, I think they've gone between like $800 and $1,400. Even the Rock's $500 shirt is safe from inflation. Oh, he's back to Zuckerberg mode. もういいのかチンさんお騒がせしています小田さんチンさんは一度下した決断を変える方じゃありません私たちもアジア外にいる以上そのことをわきまえておくべきですここに桐生さんをかくまうことはできませんでも社長小田もういい事情はよくわかった Thanks, Precious. 俺はよそに行く When I said it like that, I sounded like a kindly old southern gentleman or something. See, I didn't realize Pescator. Was it like a southern guy? I, I, I never listened to him actually talk before this whole like Diorio and Pescator drama. And then he's like, has like the good old boy voice. And I'm like, oh, like I thought I was expecting him to be like Maguito, like, oh, Pescator, like that kind of. That's I read the name and that's what I thought. Well, he's, he's a good old boy. Oh, speaking of which, holy shit, dude. Tommy C, and then I forgot the guy's fucking name.、Um, some kind of fucking news, like real stream news or something like that. Real something news? I don't remember the guy's fucking name. But him and Tommy C arguing on、uh, Augie last night. Holy shit, dude. Like, actually, I'm probably gonna do it after the stream. I was meaning to do it before, then I was like, I'm gonna move to stream now. But I want to clip that argument down to just Tommy and the other guy cursing at each other. Because it's like. It's like, it's like, it's like literally just like two Guidos shouting slurs at each other. It's fucking amazing. Top five Augie RFC argument. s It's like, I want, a new, I want a reboot of The Sopranos where every character is played by those two guys. And I didn't even realize like, the other guy was like a Northeast guy until he got into the argument.、It's, that's the thing that happens too. Like, a lot of times, you don't, if someone is from like, New York, New Jersey, or like, just like, general Northeast, sometimes you don't really notice the accident until they get heated. And then all of a sudden it fucking comes out. And that guy, like, that happened with that guy that Tommy C was arguing with. Like, he didn't really have the accent, and then he started yelling at Tommy, and it came out.
Hachiban has said I should head for West Park. Go to the West Park. Oh. Okay, I go to the West Park. I mean, normally, I'd say, yo, like, don't call the fucking cops. Calling the cops is, like, a bitch move, but it's different for Tommy because, like, he has a family to care about. He has, like, kids and stuff, so I get it. Like, if I was to call the cops on somebody, that's kind of like, I would, I would feel like a pussy. But when you have other people to worry about, it's a different story. Actually, all right. R. I, I honestly I don't know what RFC stands for, because he like Augie is Augie RFC, but then the show is called After Hours. So I, I always wind up calling it RFC even though it's not called RFC. He's just he's just Augie RFC. But then the show is after hours. No, I like, I fuck with Tommy. Like Tommy is like, he's just a guy that's like entertaining to listen to get mad. And he's always mad. Augie is blowing up a lot too, like, I remember saying, like, probably like more than a year ago at this point, I was like, this, this show is gonna fucking blow up, because it was kind of like, it was like internet blood sports, but in a lot of ways internet blood sports was kind of like relegated to this political corner of YouTube, but then Augie was doing that for the more general mainstream commentary community, and it's an entertaining format. So, sure enough, it's finally kind of, like, picked up in the way I thought it would. And I think, I think, like, that, that Tommy C versus the other guy argument yesterday, that's, like, the epitome of... The Jerry Springer-esque shit you can get with that format. Yeah, when, when, with the Saki Sano Bashi shit, and for that matter, the farming game, something that happens when... I cover a lost media story. Sometimes it helps, sometimes it fucks up the search. Yo. Like, I feel like m me covering the most mm. mysterious song on the internet kind of like opened up a lot of leads. Um, same thing with the Gita's thing. But then, with the, the farm game, <gasps> the farm game and the uh, and, um, Saki Sanobashi, it kind of invited a lot of like bullshit lies trolling and people like looking for attention which kind of messed up the search what's up john the pug he's gonna be like oh my dick uh, oh he is <laughs> Well, we really about to sleep in the tent?
Oh, okay. So at least there's like an actual door in here. I wonder what the smell is like. Had a line, it's not fake. No, but, like, what I'm waiting back now is uh, the interview stuff. Like, pretty much, like, the way that she got found. It's actually a little creepy. Like, there's an AI thing that's more advanced than Google Image Search. So, this dude kind of, he put her screenshots into the AI thing. And I found other modeling pictures she did, which kind of like led down the path of finding who she actually was. But the uh, the French guys are are doing an interview with her, like they did with some of the other people. And I'm gonna do my video on it after they get the interview back. Hey! 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 <laughs> oh, oh, we're just like chilling while he beats up the guy that gave us the tent to sleep in. Thanks for the sub, the, re the four month resub, David Buddy Cage. Oh, this guy's name is Bum Basher. There we go. One of the best things about this game is the nicknames they give to non-important NPCs. Bum Basher, Hobo Harasser. These are names that the localization team had to have come up with, too. With, with that alliteration. It's probably something similar in Japanese. But... Um, I'm going to punish you instead. Bomb fights with the bomb hunter. The bomb hunter caught ourselves a view. That's a that's an angle you can turn at, huh? Oh, I want to get him on the on the ground and smack him with the bat a little. Bamlanda. Every time someone comes at me with a bat in this game, it makes me want to play manhunt. I keep on saying that, but I keep on putting off playing manhunt. Soon. That I maybe I should just like make a list of games to stream so I remember them. Bomb hunt, <laughs> man hunt. I want to do another Mega Man two stream. We just Mega Man streams in general. Man hunt one. At least for starters. <laughs> Why was this? Why, what the fuck? Why was that one shot all freaky looking? Shh. 
You guys saw that, right? I didn't imagine it. Oh, yeah, it's back again. That, like, that, that looked like how back in the early days of regular, of, like, people who don't really know Photoshop and shit getting access to filters... People would use a filter like that and say that they drew it. And some people were dumb and didn't realize that's a filter. Like, oh wow, I can't believe you drew this. It looks beautiful. How do they call this guy bearded homeless man when he barely has a beard? Five o'clock shadow homeless man. Yo, Kiryu-san. Kaku ga kite ruzo. Kaku? Dojima gumi ka? Ya, Tachibana Fudo-san no ningen te itte ru. Ichi o... So ka. Kouen no de... Let's go. Smell you later, suckers. My ride's here. よ。ほら。まあね。夕べはゆっくり寝られたかいや、いい宿が見つかったんでな。社長はあるところ。実はお前もよく知ってる場所だけど、もう準備できてるなら車に乗ってくれ。行く。You should play that music from Earthbound when you're in there. よし。Oh, that's another thing I wanted to stream some so like maybe some Earthbound ROM hacks. I never played the Halloween hack that um Toby Fox made. That's one. Uh, oh, Cumbound, the the Cum Town hack. I had the I downloaded that and never played it. いまんとこつけられたりはしてねえようだな。公園に野宿までして隠れてたんだ。少しぐらいゆっくりさせてもらうさ。それで今から行くのは新しい隠れ家ってことか。not stop is one of the playable you, you know what it is you, you put it in I only played the beginning of it and never at the actual game to see if it works but the beginning of the game it'll ask you like to fill in certain stats and it assigns you Nick, Stav or Adam depending on what you enter like it's, it's not just a graphic hack, it's a totally rebuilt game about come down using the Earthbound engine. まさか。やっと分かったか。東条会本部。何度まで倒れた。社長は今、東条会のトップにあんたのことを掛け合ってる。because it's not like they're not animated at all, it's just their mouths don't move. But if they were going to do it this way, they could have made it a little easier on themselves and just had still images of them. Yeah, I mean, if it's budget issues, that makes sense, but once again, they could have just. 
It had to be static images. Like, they gave it a little bit of style. Business. Business. ビジネス。My name is Kazuma Kiryu. Let's go, Mudahar. Gonna load up some Yakuza. Did you upload your Metal Gear video yet? I saw, what is it, like five hours of Metal Gear? Jesus Christ. You like, you've been talking about it? I didn't realize it was like a five hour video. Oh, it's processing. Word. Mudohar saw the right opinions, four and a half hour right opinion of uh, uh, Nico Kato avocado video. He's like, wait, I can top that.先ほども Oh, I forgot this guy has like, one Michael Jackson. <laughs> キリュウ I did it. I did the Dominatrix one the last time I played. なるほど。ドジマは。あの時を予想人間に取られるわけにはいかねえだろうからな。だけど。当然その上がりは本家にも入る。俺にあんたを助けてやる理由はない。話は変わりますが、同時マグミは東場会で稼ぎ頭だとか本家の中にさえ同時マグミの力に対抗できるだけの人間はいないそうですね。The uh, gist of what happened so far this stream, Miss Wolwarn, is uh, we've escaped to Chinatown or the Chinese part to not get killed. できた古文ではあるな。そして登場会の後目に今一番近い人間です。そう遠くない将来。道島総平が登場会の3代目になる可能性は高い。それがどうした。このまま道島組が空の一つを手にすれば 
さらに莫大な金と力を得ます登場界に絶対的な独裁者が現れることになるでしょうそうなった人間は目上の者にも敬意を払わなくなるものですつまりあなたは会長代行まで上り詰めながらその老後は劇的に惨めなものになる何 He's only wearing one glove because he's cool, and that's what cool guys do. Dojima, you're a little bit of a thing. 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 Dojima, you're a little bit of a thing. 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 You're a little bit of a ただそれだけだ何も変わりゃしねえそんな目先の話にとらわれてるようではトップは務まりませんよ大工てめえ口の聞き方を知らねえようだな BC467 probably I was going to stream the demo today before this, and I was like, game comes out next week, so I might as well just wait. Uh oh. Oh, it's going to be a gift of bullets in your face, I bet. The fucking smelly guy. My name. <laughs> That's the face I make when I look at a big box of money. Go, Kuarimas. Koreo Kiryu san no inochi no daikin to s t e おさめくださいゴークこれは前金です同時丸みの動きが止まりましたらさらにゴーク加えて今後カムロ町でのうちの上がりの三割を登場会本家に納めさせていただきますたかが極でを崩れの男の命に十億とはなそこまでの価値があるのかその程度の金ならいくらでも作れますが本当の友人を作るとなるとそうはいきません差し迫った事情を言えば私が空の一坪を手に入れるにはどうしても桐生さんの力が必要ですうん随分高く買われているな。どうでしょう、新原さん。あなたには今、私たちの首を堂島組に引き渡すという選択肢もありますが、おそらくそのことで堂島から大した見返りはないでしょう。将来的にもね。でも、もしここで新原さんにお力添えいただければ、この先も。堂島さんを本家に忠実な一幹部にとどめておくことができるかもしれません私の個人的な印象では堂島さんはそのあたりが分相応に思いますなるほどあんたは確かにヤクザの股は開かせんのがうまい金の使い方もよく分かっているあの堂島が。手こずるわけだな恐れ入りますなあ道島に伝えろ桐生一馬は今から登場界本家の預かりとする、oh, shit. We got human 手出しは無用だとな He's like, we just, He just purchased the Kiryu Wayfair cabinet 貴重なお時間をありがとうございました。二代目大公。k 
桐生風間がお前くらいの年の頃あいつがどんな極道だったか知っているかい,いえ詳しくは一言でいや一気当選だ腕といい度胸といい俺から見ても惚れ惚れするような男気を持つ本物の男だったもしあの頃に戻ってやつを十億で買えるなら俺は迷わず払う That's a weird way of phrasing it. お前が本当に十億の価値があるのか見させてもらう As soon as they close the door, have them killed. Kono Mama Otonashku Ikasa de Morero Vegija, Nasa Soda. Koshoga Matomata to Niko de Rarito, Yosogai de Sta. Kore da Kara Yakuzawa or Mushiroi. Uragi Rarita Dakaja Nideska. 違うなじゃあなんでビジネスの話はまとまってもビジネスけじめはとにかくビジネスこの場を切り抜けさえすれば向こうも約束を果たしてくれるはずですそういうことだこの場を切り抜けるって無茶だここは登場界の本丸だぞ無茶でも何でもこれが極道の流儀なんでな立花を頼むくそ分かったよ Imagine if he just broke his ankle doing that and the fight was over one after I finish zero yeah probably although I might like start with another game first like uh, like Ghost of Tsushima or something because I wanted to play it before but I just I didn't want to start until after I finish this I wasn't what I was intending to do, but I'll take it. No, I, I plan on eventually going through all of them, it's just gonna take a while to go through all of them. I haven't. They're like, pretty much the only reason I even know it was, uh, do you guys watch that channel, that creepy reading? I met him at VidCon. 
and he has like two like real I, I think he has more now but then he had two really really well done aggressive tattoos and that's basically the only thing I know it from Facts forms. They, my opinion of the game facts forms is that they exist and people post on them. I don't know. I don't. I didn't know that it was possible to have an opinion on the overall state of the game facts forms. Like they, they don't. This doesn't seem like there's that much to them to like care that care much one way or the other. Man. Oh, I, was, I was about to punch Who them and I'm like, oh, it's them. Uh, oh, I have a lot of money. I could get stats and shit. Uh, <laughs> Now I can buy these up and do that fucking... Oh crap, no, I think the thing for him was the brush style. Binge Gretzuko. I don't know. I mean, maybe... Eventually... But I, I just like, it's hard for me to get excited about any animated shit. Like, there's never really a point in time where there's like so many other things I would rather get to before. Like, I gotta finish The Sopranos. I got, uh. I never watched The Wire. I'd rather watch The Wire first. I'd rather watch a movie first, like any, any movie, than most animated series. The last one I tried was JoJo, and I didn't really like it. Sounds like a really bad decision. I don't know, the only Comedy Central that content that comes up on my you on my oh, I guess on my YouTube feed is just like stand-up clips that they have. But again, it's like I don't watch TV anymore. I don't know that like anyone like over the age of like 50 still watches regular TV. He's gonna run out before I get over here, huh? Oh, he has a gun! Oh, this guy has a couch.
I'm going to equip a gun, too. I'll do it. Yeah, I did do all the final stuff. I didn't get all the stuff, all the points, but... Oh, that was a nice back of the neck fucking smack. Oh, you cunt! Hell yeah, I'm gonna eat this. Wow, eat this drink. I'm gonna eat this drink off the floor. Yeah, I have. I got the pack that has this and the and Kawami one too. Honestly, I'm not even 100% sure that I'll stream those. So. Thanks for cheers, Zesty Pizza. I'm kind of finding that I don't really like to stream story-based games. I'll play them on my own time, generally, but... I, I don't know if they're the best for streaming. Like, but, like, between all the backseating, and all spoilers, and, and just, like, parts where you gotta wait for the dialogue and shit like that, they're, they're just not ideal for streaming. I was trying to do this motherfucker. 
damn it. I think what I should have done is pull him up by the way. Kachiban with a stinky robot arm. Yep, I shot everybody except the guy I wanted to shoot. Hell yeah. Body positioning where I can fucking hit him. Damn, we all got fucking diarrhea belly. Hazy, every single time I stream, I'm drinking the same exact shit. And people always ask me when I'm streaming, but it's always the same thing. It's can seltzer work. Kiryu no ken da ga na. Honken ga cha cha yurete kiyagatta. Doujima gumi ya Kiryu Kazuma ni tedashi muyou to na. そいつは立花不動産の手配りです。親父。連中もうちにお詰められちゃ本家に泣き入れるくらいしかありませんからね。全部予想できた動きです。クゼと泡の荷はできなかった。俺にはさらにこの次。立花が切るをどう動かすか
久しぶりの休息ですたまにはゆっくりしないと持ちません私は体<笑>あれただ死に物狂いだっただけですよなああんたはい Where the time Batman used the back cop to hang a guy? I did not remember that, but that sounds fucking badass. Oh, my kid, it's a joke. I'm going to get a little bit of 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 a little なそれについては企業秘密社員にも言えない企業秘密インディアンバリアルグラウンド、like, like, 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 そうてんぼりええですがあんたの他におそらくは渋沢あいつが you know, I wasn't crazy about Michael Keaton's Batman その渋沢以外 I feel like I, I mean I feel like Batman Returns is probably one of the best Batman movies but I don't know やつらも殻の一つも、ええ、マイクル・キーンはどれだけの規模で動いているかわかりません。Really、私たちにとってカムロ町以上に危険です。少なくとも、もっと状況が把握できるまで。You know, he, he is a rich guy. そいつは、When he's playing a rich guy, he doesn't seem rich. オーダーも言ってた。ビジネスにリスクはつきものだ。ビジネス。それをあいつに教えてやったのはあんたじゃなかったのか。ビーツヴァル・キルマーだ。That's for sure。I feel like Christian Bale was probably the best Bruce Wayne, although his Batman voice was kind of goofy. Where are the drugs? あんたの心臓はアジア外を離れて離れるわけにいかねえ。<笑> I was born on an island where swimming was a way of life. I never thought anything could keep me from the water. Sorry, Dad. But I mean, I mean, wow.、Well, I don't know. Christian Bale as Bruce Wayne, on the other hand. Believable.俺も行きますよ。キリュウの言う通りです、社長。状況の見えない蒼天堀だからこそ、俺たちが直接動くべきなんじゃありませんか。誰かが俺らより先に殻の一つを手に入れれば、全部水の泡なんです。安全策だけ
And then now it's blowing up into a thing. I'm going to get you to the end. If you're ready, I'll get you to the house. I don't remember the guy's name that was able to share the video. It was like, I think he was standing in front of a green screen, too. Get out of here. Your tissues, guy. No, I don't need. I have um, any link someone puts in the chat gets blocked automatically, and I don't want to change the settings. ええ、すげえ、いいよ。ええ。そうか。お待ちしてました、キリさん。あなたが総天堀。ええ。その人物は今協力関係。その組織についてはあとで小田さんから説明してもらう。ただ。どちらにしろ大阪は近江連合の小木座元ですから彼は彼は彼は彼は彼は彼は彼は彼は彼は彼は彼は彼は彼は彼は彼は彼は彼は彼は彼は彼は彼は彼は彼は彼は彼は彼
I'm going to take a leak. What's up here, man? I looked at, like, the, uh, the pixel thing back there, and, uh, like I said, the time on it, I thought the thing was all fucked up again. The squeak is probably my air conditioner. I honestly, I think... I'm going to call it for now on Yakuza, but I think I'll get in a couple rounds of